A lot of experience on the record of Lance Barge. Uh, a total of 11 fights there uh, that we're counting. Um, or 13 fights, apologies. So quite a lot of experience in the ring. is Mr. Gareth Morris. Introducing to you, first of all, standing hey, to see, I appreciate my ball ski, bro. Means a lot to me. Out of the red corner, End the day, my commentary won't be better than Dunning. Of course, Dunning is a, 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 a professional in this job, so I, I will be a bit, I, I won't sound that good. And introducing his opponent standing across the ring, boxing out of the blue corner. Make some noise for the Lance Bosch! Over to referee Gareth Morris. So, Costas versus Lance. Costas had a lot to say in the weigh-ins. He's really confident in his abilities, so let's see if he can make it happen for him here tonight. Lance Barge with a lot more experience in the ring. Uh, will that pay dividends for him here tonight? Both men feeling out with their jabs. Barge a little bit more explosive out of the blocks there, but uh, Costa's putting the pressure on him and sinking shots to the body. A good right cross lands flush. Both of these guys are keen boxers. You can see it. They're throwing their shots early. Uh, you know, no fears about gassing out from either of them. And they're both putting their shots together well. This is a good fight thus far. Good left uppercut lands flush from Barge. Good right cross from Costas lands on the gloves of Barge, but you know a lot behind that shot there. Coming back in a straight line with his chin in the air is Costas. A uh, point of concern for me. You really make yourself vulnerable to attacks uh, when you're doing that. Good body shot for Barge. Two of them. Costas is having trouble getting past the gloves and the defences uh, on the elbows from Baj. Uh, needs to create looks um, so that he can get in between those gaps. 30, se 30, seconds, 30 seconds left on the clock. Yeah. Baj is doing a good job of just sleeping, uh, sneaking his shots in there, but Costas has got him up against the ropes now and he's working him. Good shot again. Baj is quick, the way that he whips that hook out. Uh, it's perfect textbook. This is a tight first round for sure. I think Barge is just uh, edging it for me. He's, he's, he's got the more effective attacks at this point, and the way that he's sneaking those shots into the body good are, round one. are good for sure. What did you think of that one, Azzy? To be honest, I think Red Corner took it. He just landed more, more consistent yet again. Yeah. What do you think, Darren? I think blue for that one. I think it was very close. I think he could genuinely go either way. Um, I think Barge in the blue corner just landed the cleaner shots for me. I think Costas was more busy. He had better ring generalmanship. He was controlling the centre more uh, and backing Barge up onto the ropes. But I think when the exchanges were happening, Barge was finding uh, shots under the elbow, through the centre of the guard more frequently than Costas was. And I think that if the judges know what to look for, they'll likely score that round in Barge. But it really could have gone either way. 100% down 100%. Seconds out, second round. Costas lands a good jab there in the centre of the ring, backing Barge up into the corner. And a good left hook. 
Barge is very, very snappy with that jab. Good shot again there from Costas. Landing on the glove, but slipping just behind the ear as well of Barge. And a jab through the center. Oh. Good left hook from Barge as he goes back to the body again. These guys are boxing fantastically well. You can tell the skill level here is a like, major difference. For sure. You can see the experience shining through for Barge, but Costas has got a lot of heart. He's super physically fit and he's strong as well. He's boxing very well. His defense, um, it, it could use a little bit of work in places um, for the snap decisions, but overall he's shelling up quite well also. I, I think it, for his second fight, he's doing an incredible job. Good slip and an attempt at a counter there. Body shot lands well for Costas. Barge lands a fantastic jab there, well timed. A good parry there from Costas. He fails to, to follow up on it, but a good attempt. Barge has got his man in the corner. Good shots here from Costa. That's landing on the gloves for the last 10 seconds. Barge is boxing really well, but I think the one area that he could look to improve is, is his uh, awareness of where he is in the ring. Um, he doesn't seem to take much advantage of when Costas is in the corner, when he has his back against the ropes. Uh, you know, that's the areas there where, where he could be, you know, really upping his offensive uh, um, efforts. Uh, but he doesn't seem to. He's so confident in his boxing in the centre that his ring generalmanship um, is lacking ever so slightly. Tough round to score that one. Well, where did you uh, where did you put it, Azzy? To be honest, I'm gonna say that in my eyes, it might sound a bit mud, but I think the blue corner took it. I think you could be right there. I I would be hesitant to even score that one. I think the judges have their work cut out for them on that round. Um, so, so far, it, an interesting fight for sure. Both of these guys are boxing really well. 100%. Costas looking quite tired in his corner there. Uh, you know, some, some thorough efforts from his corner men to, to uh, drive him back to life. But he's the first up out of his corner and a touch of gloves in the centre of the ring for both men. Seconds out, third and final round. Final round for us here in this cruiserweight title eliminator bout. Good exchanges here. Costas again just struggling to get through the gloves. Oh my goodness. Lance Barge landed a succession of three accurate shots and another one to the stomach just now. Yo, it I don't know why, but it seems like um, uh, the, the blue um, the blue corners put afterburners on. Yeah, I mean he, he's just coming at it now. He's he's, uh, he's appreciating. I would imagine that it's a close fight. His corner have probably told him so much, uh, and now he's just come out as you say, put the burners on, and uh, he's trying to work his way through through Costas. Good shots That's there from Costas. Has there been any knockouts there? Yes, there was a knockout um, in the in the Leo Khan fight. That knockout was crazy. Good oh. left hook there from oh. Barge. Good left hook from Costas. These guys are exchanging. This is a tough fight. They call this putting miles on the clock for a reason. These guys are smashing each other. Good right cross there from Costas. This is a very, very equal fight. Costas just looking to be burning out a little bit here uh, as Lance is landing just clean shots. That uppercut's been really successful for him up until this point. I think his left eye is swelling up. Good body shot there from Barge. As you say, as a yes, I'm swelling on the face of both men there. The blue corner's breathing heavy now a bit. I'm guessing that afterburners must have... Uh, must have died out. Yeah, I think uh, there's only so much you can do with it, but 
He comes back again as I say oh, that. What a, combo. what a way to finish a fight. An incredible bout between these two men. Great boxing and a, a real a real fight between them. A really closely contested bout there between these two men. Um, Costas and Lance, they, they've put everything in the ring just now. I would be, uh, you know, it would be difficult to call a winner out of this. I don't envy the judges at all for this one. Yeah, you know what, Daniel, I can't lie to you. I don't know who won, obviously. I'm leaning towards more to the blue corner just because that last few seconds. Yeah, I think you're right. I think uh, Lance Barge in the blue corner's probably just taken it, but I wouldn't be shocked at a draw, and I also wouldn't be shocked at Acosta's decision for the red corner either. Um, it's just one of those fights where you can't be upset about the result, whichever way it goes, to be honest. Costas uh, feeling some of the worst effects of that. He looks quite tired in central ring now. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee will I'm like to, to figure out who's going to win this. On a well he has said this is the best bout of the evening so far. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges at ringside, who score this in favor of your winner as the result of a split decision. Blue corner! I called it. Yeah, as I you called it. it. I called it. I missed it, but for a reason. Yeah, really tight fight there. I think a draw would have been a fair decision, but yeah, absolutely. Lance Barge could have taken the edge of it there. Um, yeah, split decision sounds about right to me. Um, for those of you at home watching, unanimous decision would be all of the three judges ruling it in favour of one fighter. A split decision is that uh, two of the three rules it in one fighter's favour, whereas the third judge rules it is either as a draw or in the opposite direction. Um, I think that's very fair here, to be completely honest with you.